Hey everyone, Azri here. Today I'm going to be going through a full tutorial on how to port a weapon into Black Ops 3. And this is going to be in a few parts so that people can skip to the part that they need help with and come back to a certain part later on. So in this first part I'm going to be going through how to get the model and prepare it for Black Ops 3. So I'm going to be doing the Ballista from Black Ops 2 in this tutorial. And then I'm also going to be using Wraith in this tutorial because it lets me rip the animations and the models in the same program. So I'm going to open up Wraith and then wait for it to load. And then once that has happened, you just need to make sure that you've selected the game that you're going to export from in this um, uh, in this drop down menu. And then in your settings, make sure you don't have TIFF selected because it seems to mess up some of the color channels. And then make sure you do have this patch normal maps to contain a color and blue channel checkbox because that will fix your normal map later on. So here I'm just simply going to go into a custom game and then once the game is started you can just um, click load game and then start searching for the models you want to export. So like I said I'm going to do the ballista. So, I'll, so you see all the X animations here and the models at the bottom. So I'll be getting the uh, the body models, the scopes, and the magazine models. And then I'll get the animations here that I'm needing. So just uh, mainly all the ones that the base weapon will use. I'm not going to do the ones for the uh, attachments and everything. And these ones. Okay, and once you've selected all those, just click on export selection, wait for this to finish, and then you, sh you should see the little um, message down here. Just click on that, and then go to Black Ops 2 X models, and here they all are. So now what we need to do is uh, bind each of them, and then export them into X model export files, um, because for some reason the export that Wraith gives doesn't work with uh, export to bin. So we just open each of these up. And once Mayor has loaded up, we just need to bind this model. So we go back into the Wraith export and drag the bind script into the window. And you'll see it says down the bottom, the model has been binded. So now we press Control S and then go up to Call of Duty Tools, Export X Model, and then open the uh, outliner by clicking on this button over here, or going into Windows Outliner. And then click on these two um, groups and then go select hierarchy and that should select everything under all of these. And then simply uh, click these three dots and choose where you're going to save it. So I'll save it in Black Ops 3's model export directory under T6 and I'll call it the Lista for a new folder. And then this was the magazine, so Ballista Mag View. And simply export selected. Uh, yes, save changes. And do the same thing for every other model.
Okay, and now that you've finished that, what we need to do is create a full model of the weapon that we're going to be using for our animated model. So to do this, we simply open up the scene for the gun's body, and then we need to drag in the files for its scope and magazine. So we simply just go to these and drag the MA file in, and do the same for the scope. And then here we can't really see what we're doing, so we click on renderer and change it to legacy default viewport and then press 6 to go into texture view and then click on view default view to get the correct rotation and then now we simply just need to go to our outliner and expand the joints 1 and joints 2 um, folders and then add tag clip and tag scope under our J gun here so we do that by clicking on tag clip holding down middle click and then uh, hovering over J gun and letting go. And do the same for tag scope. And then under here, now we need to line it up. So we just press W to take out the move tool and just simply slide it over to where it looks correct. And do the same for the clip here. Like that. And then we can save this scene as ballista full. And then, now we need to create the animated model. So you can either use a fresh set of arms for from Black Ops 3, or the conversion kit. I'm going to be using the conversion kit because um, we're going to be using it later on anyway. So I'll leave it a link to download that in the description, and you can open it up uh, now. And once you've got that open, we just need to drag our full ballista model in. And that was here. Just drag that in. And then we need to make our... Um, here we are. We need to make the J-Gun a child bone of uh, T7 tag weapon right under the T7 joints. Just need to remove the quickly. Okay, so we do the same thing, just middle click and then drag it over tag weapon right and let go. And then we need to also zero out the transforms. So if you don't have this channel box layer editor, just click this button in the top right hand corner of your mail window and then change translate X, Y and Z to zero. Like that. And then you can save this scene as ballista base. And then now we can export um, the animated model. So to do this, click on T7 tag view, and then go select hierarchy, and then select one of the meshes in the scene. I normally do this little band here on Jessica's arm. So hold shift and then click on the band, and then go to Call of Duty tools, export X model. And then here, just go save selection, and choose where you're going to save it. So I'll put it in model export and ballista and then call it ballista animated and then I'll export that. Okay, and now before we add anything to the asset editor, we need to uh, change all the J gun bones to be tag weapon. So to do this, we just go to where we exported all our models, which is model export T6 and Ballista. Hover, uh, highlight all of these and then open it in your text editor. And then simply just press Ctrl H to open the replace box and find J Gun and replace with Tag Weapon. And then go replace all in all open documents. And then once we've done that, we can just uh, press Ctrl Shift S to save it. And now we've done that, we need to convert them to X model bin files. So to do this, you can either set up uh, export to bin using the method I'll paste in the description, or we can use Kronos. I'll use Kronos because it's a bit easier to set up for the first time. So simply open Kronos, and go to this little cube, and then we just need to drag all our exports into here. So we just go and find all those, 
and then just drag them in and you'll see them come up in the exported files folder. So we just need to copy all these and put them into the same folder under model export and we're ready to start making the X models in Ape. So when you have Ape open, you just simply make a new GDT by clicking on this new GDT button and I'm going to call it Ballista and you'll see that it's made a new entry here. So now we can right click on it and go new asset and name it to what we want. So this one I'm going to do the Ballista body and type, asset type, make sure it's set to X model and click OK. And then the type here we need to set to animated and scroll down to the LOD0 section where it asks you for a file and then just click on the three dots and it'll bring you straight to the model export folder. So mine was in T6 and then Ballista and mine was called uh, Ballista Body View. Click on that and then in the preview window you should immediately see it come up with a Ballista style shape but without any textures on it. That's okay. Just press Control S and then we can start doing this for every other X model that we've exported. So you can just right click and go duplicate and then uh, change the name. I'll actually change this to be well, view. Uh, rename view. Okay, and just change what's in LOD0. Okay, and once you've done that, you need to assemble the world model. So to do that, we go to the body for the world model and we can just pull this um, preview window out so we can see it. And then we need to put the magazine and the scope in the correct place. So scroll down a bit and then you'll see a submodel section. So here we do need to put the scope in for the world and parent tag will be tag weapon. And then do the same for the magazine. And put tag weapon. And then you can see them in the model uh, preview here. So we just need to try and line them up now. So for the position offsets, you want to try and move it up into the correct position first. So try uh, three looks okay. And then we need to move it back. So we can just, um, Let's try negative two or negative three and uh, possibly bring it down a bit, 2.8 and then maybe negative four. And then for the magazine, it's too high. So we need to bring it down quite a bit. And then we need to pull it back. So that would be negative five again. And that looks about right. So then now we have a proper world model that's set up and we can use that in the weapon file later on. So that's it for this part. In the next tutorial I'm going to be going over all the material options and how you set those up. And I'll see you in that video. See ya.